What's up everybody, Wattable70 here and welcome back to a brand new live stream and today I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new game Tem Tem. What is up everybody, how are all of you guys doing, what's up, what's up. We're going to go back to camera though because I'm going to do a little bit of chat interaction but yeah, we're going to be playing Tem Tem for the first time. A lot of people have been saying that this is like the Pokemon killer which it won't be, Tem Tem is definitely not going to kill off Pokemon but it is going to be refreshing to try out a game like this and I've been super in that Pokemon mood as it is anyways because I've been playing it a lot of Pokemon Platinum because I'm going to be releasing a brand new Pokemon Platinum project very soon for any YouTube members you guys will already know what the series is looking like and all that stuff and I mentioned it before it's like the Eclipse Platinum randomizer nuzlocke but I started to upload like what the thumbnail is going to be looking like and stuff in the YouTube member stuff so yeah and yeah there was some bad queue times um already uh I was actually worried that I would have to wait super long but currently as you guys can see, I'm okay right now. So we're in here right now. We'll see if New Game says anything about that. But I know what you're talking about when it comes to the uh, queue times. Queue times have been a little bad, but so far so good. So hopefully we'll be able to play it for the next two hours. Um, but yeah, now all you YouTube members will know about that Eclipse Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. The thumbnail got finished yesterday, and it's looking pretty spicy. If you haven't checked the YouTube members Discord, I'd recommend checking that out because I posted the uh, Eclipse Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke uh, thumbnail in there. What's up, Spooky? How are you doing? But yeah, welcome to the stream. First things first before i forget thank you so much to william english for becoming a youtube member for 11 months in a row thank you so much to Yu Gi Oh everything for becoming a youtube member for five months in a row and last but not least thank you to caboose for being a youtube member for five months in a row and welcome to the stream everybody let me go switch to a live chat real quick what's up santi what's up wilfred what's up blaming your play typical asian calvin gene sorry i mispronounced your name right there what's up what toast what's up phantom what's up uh the champ what is up sean what is up, uh, RDX? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Welcome, Link. It's nice to see you. How you doing, man? Um, did you move yet? If so, how's how's it going? Uh, and then who else am I missing? What's up, Flash? No, it's it will be a Switch game. It's not out on the Switch yet, but currently it is early access on PC, and they are planning to release it on Xbox, PlayStation 4, and Switch. So it's probably going to be a good thing anyways for you to wait until it's on the Switch, because since it's been in early access, so far the game has been doing pretty well from what I've been seeing on Twitter. The only issue is that it's just been hard to get in. So there you go right there. But I guess without no more stalling, let's just hop into it. I'm not going to have chat on the game itself, but I'll still try my best to talk with you guys throughout the entire stream. One thing I'm really happy about is the fact I can use my Xbox controller. That's some hype right there. I'm so glad I don't have to use my clickety clackety keyboard for Temtem right here. Um, oh, where's the audio? Let me put that down right now because I have a feeling it might be a little too loud right away. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there's that right there. And hopefully the game works well. Uh, while we're playing on X, my computer automatically says that we should play this game on Ultra. Yeah, that we should play this game on Ultra. And I'm playing at a 1440p full screen. I'm going to have my frame rate to 144. So we'll see if we have to change the... We'll have to see if we have to change the... Uh, what's it called? graphic or not yeah the graphics on the game um in the middle of the stream because i normally don't stream pc games so i don't know how well the stream is going to handle um doing this stuff so fingers crossed everything goes well just to be safe i might close out of now nah, we'll keep this thing up but yeah no thank you for everybody for hopping by today's stream i know for a fact that this stream is not going to do well compared to my Yu Gi Oh stream so for everybody in here I really do appreciate it um i believe my tech speed's already changed yeah it's already the fast um i kind of like the I don't care about instant text. I kind of like um, fast text where I can still go through it quickly, but still like has the animation because I like that from Pokemon. So my text speed is already too fast. Don't worry about that. I already like tested out um, or I already checked, changed my settings before we hop into today's stream. But hopefully audio levels are good. Just tell me if the audio levels are um, too quiet or too loud for the game wise. What is up, Fireboy? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Immortal Doc? Welcome to the stream. And yeah, in general, thank you guys for stopping by today's stream. Hopefully you can get a good amount of people in today's stream. But since it isn't a Yu-Gi-Oh one, we'll have to wait and see right here. Um, in a month? Oh man, dude. Well, hopefully you get that better internet and stuff, because I'd love to play some games with you again. Yo, yo, we got the female sprite. Why are we automatically a female character? Oh, you can randomize it? Okay. Now, chat, should we try to make a character that looks like Misty, or should I, like, create, like, just somebody that looks like me? I don't know. Wait, actually, let's go check, like, the other, like, customized... Oh, man, there's a lot of customization. But if there's no, like, hairstyle, like, Misty's, I might not even attempt to do a Misty clone. But, dude, I, yo, the only thing is, though, is that it is so difficult for me to, for, like, picking, uh, like, how the character would look and stuff. But, chat, should we try to do a Misty clone or whatever? Should we try to make one that looks like Misty Treadle? I just don't know if we'll be able to because of the fact that I don't think there's a hairstyle for Misty. 
female looking kind of nice. Hey, well, good news. Start following you on Twitter. Heck yeah, brother. Thank you so much for that follow. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a good hairstyle for. Her. Yeah, I don't know if there's like a really good hairstyle for her. Create Misty. We'll try to. I just don't know how successful we'll be. But we got the female. We got this female sprite. Let's go. This is odd though. Create Misty, dude. We're gonna. This is gonna be interesting. Dude, I'm gonna have to get a fucking reference image. Dead ass, bro. By the way, that does not look like Misty. <laughs> Let's get that reference image real quick. Okay, chat. So, so far, so good, right? Hold on. Let me switch to this right real quick. So far, so good, right? I think we're pretty close already. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be an interest. This is going to be an interesting feat to accomplish because I don't think we can. <laughs> I genuinely don't think that we can. Um, let's see. Misty kind of pale as fuck, so we'll go with that. I'll probably be the best skin tone. Hmm. What are these running animations? Um, we're gonna go with that one. Okay, and then there we go. Now, what about the head? We gotta get like that. Uh, what would be what would be the best for a Misty or whatever? Oh, that actually, that might be somewhat close. Then again, she got some eyes that pierce though. I'll tell you what though, it's kind of difficult using the controller to um set up this. But yeah, we gotta get that like generic face. With the makeup too. That's like, hmm. Love to play the games with you, homie. Since I had a new job, I can afford Zoom. Hell yeah! I really just still need to set up that um, what's it called? Like VC. Okay, that's like the. Okay, I think we actually got pretty close for the eyes. Yeah, cause those look a little derpy. Cause Misty's eyes like are very pierced, like they pierce. But at the same time, it's like these ones kind of like are derpy. They don't really pierce. At the same, hmm. Unless we can, like, adjust, like, the levels of the eyes, maybe? No, I think that'll probably be best, right there. Now, for hairstyle, I genuinely don't know, but first of all, I guess we should make the, just, the hair color just black right away if we're gonna create Misty from Yu-Gi-Oh. I just don't know. I just genuinely don't think there's, like, a proper hairstyle. Yo, this is definitely Misty's haircut right there, chat. Omega lol. Yo, my PC, I hear its fan going off. What is this? We're playing a game called Temtem. Right now we're just trying to make a character similar to Misty. Honestly, I might rock with just the ponytail hairstyle, dead ass. Um, yo emo look. See, I kind of want to go for like this one, but at the same time, this one might match a little bit more because Misty does have long hair, but I think we're going to go for that hairstyle right there. Let's go chat. Yo, naked Misty. No way, boys. No way. Uh, what would be... Actually, I mean, no matter what, we'll probably want to get, like, a green dress. Actually, no, let's make it, like, primary. A... Misty Pokemon Trainer. Let's go! Eye shape on point. Yeah, that's probably, like, the best one we're gonna have to go for. Now, I see, I'm basing it off of, uh, Misty's design on this right here. I'm basing it off of this one right here, and she has, like, the white and then, like, the green. So I think that's what I'm going to attempt to do, is primary white and then secondary green. Should we give Misty that hoodie, though? But then again, if we give her that hoodie, I think I want it, like, primary green and then white. You know what? I think I fucks with that. I think I fucks with that. What about this hoodie style? This one also kind of cool. Like, what can we do for colors-wise? Oh, dude, honestly, I fucks with this a lot right here. Pick the longest hair. I think the, I think this will probably be the best hair that we can go for. I don't really, because honestly, a lot of these the hair designs look kind of derpy. I mean, this one also kind of matches Misty a little bit. And then, that one just looks goofy. I'd say we either go for like this one right here or this one. I like both lot. I like both hair designs. This one that we're rocking or that one. I think we're gonna go with the ponytail though. But yo, that hoodie looking fresh though. That hoodie looking fresh. She needs that Misty Rack set up. Ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, actually, we might have to rock these shorts. Wait, nah. I wish there's like some like high heels or whatever, because that's actually what Misty wears is high heels in the show. Hmm. Hmm. Also, we never switch back to normal Tim Tim. There you go. And then, I like the normal bag, that's pretty heat. Pretty heat right there. Hmm, yeah, I don't know what to go for. 
I'm genuinely surprised that the game lets us go just naked. Just naked character. I come to peek the stream and see undies a woo. Dude, dead ass. It's not my fault. The game literally defaults to that right there. We'll click A on that though, so it defaults to that when we hop out. Should we go for the short shorts chat? Short shorts with the little, uh, I don't know what you call these, but those look kind of cool too. We out here making the best Pokemon trainer, Misty. Um, kind of also fucks with the pants style. Hmm, what color to go for though? Oh, so top is the pants. I also fucks with like the black pants and then should we go for the see i fucks with this i like the black and green design dude dead ass that's why i was a little worried about this but i think we might i, I think it fucks with this short shorts with the leggings you think you think so chat ah yeah not bad actually you know what i think i actually i was about to like deny that but honestly, I think you're right, chat. I think you're right. The black shorts, too? Hold up, wait, yeah. Yeah, and then... The only thing I don't like them white socks. Wish we could change the socks. Yeah, because then I can't rock, because if I... Hmm. You know, those socks kind of ruin it, though. Now, if we go, like, black on black, then, it, then the socks match up a little bit better. But I kind of want to rock, like, them green shoes, too, to, like, highlight everything. But yeah, if we go for like the short shorts with the leggings or whatever, that'd probably have to be the best. Dude, I'm fucks with it though. This is an epic character customization. And then we also got that backpack which you already got set up, which is pretty epic right there. Um, hmm. Now I want to name the character Misty, but I feel like that since this is an MMO, I should probably call myself Watt 007. So I don't know. I think I'll just call myself Watt 007. Um, only are allowed. Oh, that's lame. Then I might have to call it Misty. Only letters A through Z in the word hyphenators, except <laughs> they and them. <laughs> Why do, oh my God. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Really the pronouns. We're gonna go with the they and them. We're gonna go with the they and them. No, I wanted to, I mean, I might just have to go with like the Watt maybe. Because, like, this is probably going to be my main account, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm going to be changing my account at all. I don't know what voice is better. We're going to go with voice one, though. But, Chad, do you think do you think this is the final outfit that we should go for? Or do you think we should change any of the colors? And, yo, what's up, Gold Man? If you're still in the stream, how you doing, man? I shape on point. Dude, typical Asian, you're right. I can't clone the I can't clone the thickness. I really can't. But you know what? For what it's worth, this is pretty good for making it as close to Misty. I'd say I say I did a decent job for what options that we had, you know what I'm saying? I'll take it. I'll take it. It's, of course it's not perfect, but I'll take it. <laughs> Wish there wasn't so much of a chat delay though. Looks good, looks good. Yeah, dude, them white socks though. Throws me off, but you know what? It's all good. It's all good. I think we chose the right amount of green highlights, though. I think we chose the right amount of green highlights. I guess one thing I will test real quick. Um. I think black is probably, yeah, I think black is the best. I like both, but I think black will be the best. Anyways, I'm probably just gonna call myself Watt, because it is an MMO or whatever. Finish. Character name already in use? Aw, oh, fuck, I knew this was gonna be a problem. Uh, let's go Misty Treadwell. We might just, I mean, we dead ass might have to do that because the game is not gonna let us to do it otherwise. Cause I wanna do, cause originally of course I wanna go Watt 007, but only letters A through Z and word hyphenators in space are allowed. Which, okay, I actually don't understand why they allow all these other characters except numbers. That's annoying, but on a dead ass, we might actually have to call ourselves Misty Treadwell just because of the fact that Watt's taken. Like, bro. So even though I don't want to do this, we kind of have to. <laughs> we kind of have to do this as much as I don't want to. Oh well. 
Yeah, oh well. Misty Treadwell, still sleeping? Come on, wakey wakey. I mean, fuck, I guess we are gonna call ourselves Misty Treadwell. Uh, morning. Better wake up faster while waiting for you. Who? Mm -hmm. You sleep ahead, you really don't remember what day it is? Today is, oh, it's my apprentice Eve. Oh. Exactly, my dear, congratulations. Uh, coincidental device every tamer should have the Tempedia records. Oh, it's a Tempedia, yep. Crucial info on every temp temp scene and caught yours is a present from Anna. Um, just what I wanted. You're apprentice now, so you'll be heading to the ac academia, so I figure you need a good temp. Uh, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You know how it works. The Tempedia lists all the temp temp it captured and stores info about them. Professor showed us all us how to use it. Now you have your own, we'll hurry up, they're waiting for you. Misty Treadwell is in the house! Yo, uh, yo, okay. First of all, I gotta say, I gotta say, this feels smooth. Oh, I love- this act- this game feels so nice. I love it when I can play a game on my computer with a controller, cause like, I have played like first person shooters that I'm used to, um, and I play them on my Xbox and then to my PC, and even though I still use a controller only, I still feel like that smoothness and like the difference between the frames, but the fact that we're playing this at 144 frames, god damn this feels smooth. I love playing games at my high refresh rate with a controller, it feels so damn nice. Feels so damn nice. Oh my god, this game feels slick as fuck. Yeah, playing this on PC feels smooth as all hell. I hope that somewhat it can transfer to when it gets released on platforms like the Switch, but it feels so smooth. I love it. Love the movement already. That's actually really nice. That's actually really... Watt 2-7? I probably could have done that, B-Man. A little late on that now, but now that we already called ourselves Misty Treadwell, I'll keep it like that. Zatter, home sweet home. Yeah, it's gonna take me a little while to get used to, like, the art style. It's like a mix of, like... Well, I wouldn't say bad, but it's definitely different than what I'm used to. It's Misty Treadwell, congrats. Yo, happy Apprentice Eve, Misty Treadwell. Let's go. All Zatter is here. Yo, what's up, Ice Kid? How you doing, man? Congratulations, we know it's a big day for you, but we're also going to miss you. We got a little pocket money for the trip to Academia. It's not much, but we all chipped in. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much, my dear neighbors. Misty Treadwell, where's your friend Max? Where the fuck is Max, this clown? Someone calling? Oh, hey, Misty Treadwell. Did you know it's my Apprentice Eve too? Oh. Hello, Max. We were waiting for Professor, whatever that name is. <laughs> hey, kids, are you ready? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, Professor, please take care of Misty Treadwell. Ah, oh, children grow up so fast. Oh. Don't worry, my dear Anna. I'll drop Misty Treadwell and Max off at the Academia on my way to university. Cool, can I go with you? Oh. <laughs> You're a little too young to come to the university, Max, but who knows, perhaps one day if you persevere. What about you, Misty? You got any plans for the future? Misty Treadle isn't good at handling Temtem, but that's okay. Don't worry, Misty. You always can stay here and take care of Anna, right? Hey, what is that call out? Max, Misty, come with me. We'll drop by the lab, grab a couple things, and we'll be on our way. Take care, Misty. I love you. I know you'll do great. Come on, kids. Let's go. Shout out to, like, doing voices and then not doing voices at the same time. Let's go. Dot, dot, dot. Wish my kids were more like you. Apprentice Eve on. Good for you. Congratulations on Apprentice Eve. Wait, what did you say? Pepe and I wish you the best. Is there someone really called Pepe? Wait, who the fuck is called Pepe? Wait. Wait, she literally said someone called Pepe. I wish you the best. Okay. Congratulations. Well done. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, no, this game feels really smooth. Okay, frames are doing good too. Uh, let me close. I'm gonna close a couple things though, just to be safe. I think we're gonna be fine this entire stream. I just hear that my PC is going off. It's not used to doing a game and stream at the same time like this, but as long as the stream itself is all smooth, then we're good to go. Look at that, it's a Temtem plush. Look at how cute that is. But yo, this thing feels so fucking smooth. Like, that's the first thing I really like about this game, is just how buttery smooth it feels. I don't know if you can, like, tell in, like, the, you know, live stream or whatever. Yeah, you probably won't be able to tell in the live stream, because the live stream's capped at 60 frames per second, but I'm, like, playing this on 144 frames. Bro, it feels so good! Oh man, that's so nice. Oh, I unintentionally got here. Mr. Treadwell, come here. Dude, we gotta choose our starter. Very well, kids. You know this apprentice Eve, meaning you already learned the basic theories about Temtem. You're not ready to handle your first Temtem. You see those glass jars? These contain different Temtem from around the area. Hey, teach you have any digital type? Oh. Digital Temtem are a very recent invention, my young friend. They're very seldom found. Ah, I have one. Oh, that's a cool Temtem. Where'd you get that? Oh. Doesn't matter, Misty. For the fanciest of humble Temtem, it's a tamer that makes all the difference. Max already has Temtem. I'll let you get one too. Take your pick. Why does Misty Chandler get to choose and I don't? Dog, you already have a Temtem, you fucking oh. clown. Go ahead, Misty. You'll see which one you like the best. Take your time. Your first Temtem is always important for a moment for the trainer. This is actually a tough decision because honestly, I like all three of them. 
I was originally going to choose this grass guy or this, I guess, crystal type. But at the same time, like, this little lion guy looks really cool. And this one has a mysterious vibe to it that I also like. Hmm. Yeah, I like, I like these two a lot. I think I'm probably gonna go for the crystal one, but at the same time, I really like this guy too. What's up, Twisted Bonnie? Welcome to the stream. How you doing, man? Oh man, why do they look like Wii characters? The Wii never dies. I'm really nervous because I got to take the for the Navy. I never heard of that test before, but best of luck, man. Yeah, I can understand the nervousness. I've been nervous about some things in my life too. Imagine if someone in battle called on Akizo be on the floor laughing and majorly invested into it, dude. We got to get Brad to play this, and he can choose Akiza. That'd be oh. funny. But yeah, no, I think, <sighs> yeah, it's, uh, it's either these two. It really is either these two, because I like both of these guys. I'm going to pick this little turtle guy, though. Oh. It's a Crystal Temtem. Strong against electric and mental, but weak against fire and earth. Cut this one of the Ashen Plains. You're the Amethyst place. We'll, we'll choose this one. We'll choose this one. Excellent choice, Misty. We'll give this one a shot. A new Crystal, uh, Crystal, yay. Nice. Sent to squad, rename. Cool. Um... What do we want to call this guy? Oh, um, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna give call him Emerald. Um, trait Amphibian. Send the squad. Mm -hmm. Let's get to move on, kids. Yeah, the only downsides of the game right now is the fact that I gotta like set down my controller and uh, type it in myself. But it's not that big of a deal. Kind of already used to doing that, anyways. Um, there's actually a lot of interesting things. Oh, so you can like change stuff on the slot. That's cool. Female side parts of Q. Feminine for Tanners want to look. Okay. Then we got the squad. What else can we do? Um, map notifications. I guess we can't check our... Oh, it probably would be called squad. Hmm. I don't know. A lot of stuff to learn, that's for sure. But yeah, no, this game feels better. smooth. I like it a lot. Name it Watt Double Seven. Nah, we're gonna give him original names. Misty, the teacher's pet, you think you're better than me, don't you? Now that you have a brand new attempt to hunt, let's see what you can do with it. Yo, this kid's a cunt. Like, Max is such a cunt. Max. I like the little card thing, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Hey. Ah, uh, so we have Grass Blade. Okay, so he's kind of like a grass type. That's cool. Um. Oh, so that uses like a mana system essentially. But still, why can't we use Mirror Shell? Not ready yet? Hmm. Give me vibes of like uh, fossil fighters. Grassetto Blade. Well, that did some damage! But yo, this mechanical heat's gonna hurt. Yeah, we're actually gonna probably use it, lose our first fight. Nah, we're faster and we got Mirror Shell ready. What? You're faster now? Okay, then, that's bull. So we lost the first battle because we chose the wrong type. That kind of sucks because I was hoping that we could beat the shit out of Max, but we just had bad type coverage. Take that Misty first victory, hurrah. <laughs> Here's hope the servers are kind of used to so relax, been an issue since yesterday. Yeah, I've been hearing about it. You want Max the digital Temtem, yours really give you an edge. It's about the tamer, not the Temtem. Then you said that a minute ago, Teach. Congratulations, Max. Don't let this first defeat affect you too much, Misty. You never really stood against against Max digital Temtem. Uh, Ori. Digital 10 10 rare and powerful innovation. Take a look at your emerald. It could use a couple bandages. They're all healed. Did love and play feel? I have something for you, Misty. Is it another 10 10? Yeah, a new 10 10. Okay. Um. We're gonna call this guy. Tukon? Yo! What's up, Playmaker? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. I don't know what to name this little birdie. Um, I usually name my birds like Stardust, but I don't know if Stardust would be a good idea for uh, Tropical. Actually, I'm going to name him Tropical. I just got to figure out how to fucking spell it. Because I am not smart. What the bullet seven not smart. Actually, no, I figured it out by typing it on my phone. So I guess I did have it in me. Lol. We're going to call him Tropical. But yo, how play Playmaker, how you doing, man? Thank you for hopping by today's stream. So we're going to call him Topical, Tropical and add him to the squad. Not look like, not look like much, but he's one of the rarest Temtem I've ever found. Take good care of it. I have reasons to believe it more than meets the eye. What? I don't get one of those? You already have a digital Temtem Max? Still not fair. Research suggests that 2i might be reacting to certain pieces of power, but I haven't found any on this island, so that's why I'm going back to Arbory to consult with my peers. 
So I have an airship, but I can walk you kids as far as the academia. I don't need a babysitter, fair enough. You can travel around, it'll be a way to prove yourselves. Very well, Misty and Max. You can go and wait for you and the Brinical Miar. You two can head north and meet me there. Listen up, the path team in with Temtem. I have a few, so I have a few Tem card using the Catch a Wild Temtem. You got eight Tem cards. Nice. That they won't go down without a fight, here's some ball to heal your team after battle. Cool. That's it, good luck. Remember, we'll be seeing you, Amar. Be prudent, kids. Uh, I mean, I guess in a sense, yes, this is clickbait, but at the same time, people, when Temtem first got announced, and when people first started seeing gameplay on Temtem, a lot of people were talking about the fact that, um, yeah, they were talking about the fact that this game could be the Pokemon killer, just because of the fact that this is a very similar game to Pokemon. So yes, it is clickbait, but I'm not, like, trying to scam you or anything like that, I'm just trying to get a good title so I can get new viewers into the stream type of thing. Uh, we got cool Pokemon right here, though, now we have, uh, a swap, and I'm probably gonna call these things Pokemon along on accident. So we got a Wind type, and then we have a Crystal type. So that's interesting, uh, even though these are crystal type Pokemon, their crystal type moves are still named after like grass and stuff. Oh no, no, that's glass blade. Never mind, I'm just stupid. It's all good. So we got a wind type, tropical, and then emerald, which is pretty cool. One thing I like about this is the fact that the uh, Temtems follow you. That's a nice feature that's always welcome. I really like those type of features. Now, how do you swap them around? Move. Nice, that's really cool. That's another really cool feature about the game. Yeah, so far I gotta say that the game feels super smooth. I noticed that my frames did start to drop just because of the fact that there's now so many other like actual players and NPCs. Um, but still, even when my frames, frames drop, it does feel really smooth. And also I am live streaming anyways, so the fact of that matter is why it's gonna probably dip in frames and stuff and that's gonna be lag, it's just, just so many people and stuff. So that's gonna be really interesting right there. Imagine if someone does like this game, dead ass. I actually wanna do that. Like. The only downside, I don't know if I will be able to, since this is my like first playthrough of the game and this is on Steam, I, I, I would probably have to get a whole new copy of the game in order to Nuzlocke it, but I low-key wanted to do a Nuzlocke on this just to stand out from other content creators out there in the community, but I probably won't be able to do it unless I like made a whole new Steam account and bought the game like brand new or whatever. Besides, and besides, I didn't want to hop into this as a Nuzlocke right away anyways because I want to get used to the game because I'm bad at Nuzlocke, so I might as well like... If, so if I did actually do a Nuzlocke, I would want to like play the game first without a Nuzlocke format and then later on do a Nuzlocke format. So yeah, there's my jumbled thoughts on that type of thing right there. Looks uh, looks like Sword of Shield, so why, so why couldn't you have following Pokemon again? Uh, <laughs> how would I answer that question or whatever? I mean, for now it's easy to get uh, following Pokemon on this because it is gonna be on PC compared to trying to make it handled on the Nintendo Switch. At the same time though, they are gonna release this game on this to the Nintendo Switch, so they will probably have the following mechanic right there. Still, I think, I mean, the fact that they didn't have every single Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield probably also stems to the fact that we couldn't get followable Pokemon either um, type of thing because just, we just didn't have all the models in the game yet or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know if it would have been terribly, terribly hard for them to incorporate um, following Pokemon though, if I really think about it because of the fact that Pokemon Sword and Shield had roaming Pokemon anyway. So I guess they probably could have incorporated following Pokemon if they really, really wanted to just because of the fact they already had the 3D models in the overworld anyways. Honest piece of quiet, nothing beats that or quality of life. Mark my words, if you work in the capital, you see the little town in different eyes. Guess young dudes preserved this place right. All that big city excitement, crowds of hustle and bustle. Remember, that's one day I learned to appreciate the simple part of a sunny day. A good book and a peaceful spot right here. I've never been outside. It figures you're too young to travel on your own. One day go abroad then, who knows? Maybe you'll miss them then. Maybe you can see pants on for ages because it rains all the time and I'll breathe because you live underground too much. So enjoy your childhood while I last kid these days and never come back. Yeah, I can feel that. This will get added to the Switch, but currently it's only on PC, but they do plan the releases on Xbox, PlayStation, and the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, it kind of sucks that the frames are dropping now just because of the fact that there's so many other people. Pepe, now where is this man? Oh, hi, Misty, congratulations. Hope you're having a great day. Looking for Pepe, is supposed to help me at lunch. We scurried off to catch Temtem again, that husband and I, never mind. Have a great time at Academia, see you around, Mr. Treadwell. 2021, damn, damn. Hi, Misty. What a lovely send off you had. Hope you're enjoying the first steps of Temtem -tem Trainer. I'm just trying to get some free stuff, you know what I'm saying? Such a nice kid. Good to see you again, Misty. Hope everything's doing great. I don't know if there's any hidden items. Yo, it's so odd, because I feel like I'm playing a Pokemon game, but then there's like actual players. It's, ah, it's weird. What are you doing? Playing around my new tip. Uh, Pig Pick. Whoa, you could be a fucking douchebag. Out of my way, little girl. <laughs> okay, then. Man, you could be a douchebag in this game. I kind of like that. 
I'm not gonna do it, but I, I like that. I'll probably be a douchebag in the max, not thinking about it though. Oh my god, it's Mr. PP. Oh shit. We gotta run. Oh, it's our mom, so I don't need to talk to you. Yeah, well, actually, you actually might give me some free. Yo, mom, give me some free stuff. Or disappear again, let me take care of you, Temtem. -tem. Okay, so it's just healing right there. Yo, he looks like a Fruit Loops Toucan. Yo, dead ass. You're right, bro. This is currently only on Steam. Like I said already on the stream, though, this is going to come out on PS4, Xbox, and um, Nintendo Switch later. Don't know the release dates for those, but somebody said the Switch version is coming out 2021. Uh, you know what? Uh, now a word. Will you please take care of Max Missy Treadwell? I've always looked. They always looked up to you, whether you believe it or not. Ooh, <laughs> I want to say not my problem because Max is a fucking douchebag. But at the same time, I should not be a cunt. So, yeah, I'll, I'll say I'm a good person, but I still might talk trash about Max. He's a kind of a douche. Yo, Eddie, thank you so much for the $1 donation. For every YouTube member out there, give some misty hearts to that donation. I really appreciate it, man. Yo, what's up, Twisted Bonnie? How you doing? Why, you think this will be smooth on PlayStation? Probably not because it'll be capped at like 60 frames per second, but... Oh, well, actually, let me go test out the game real quick. So I can actually bump my frame rate down to 60 frames per second. Let me see how smooth it feels at 60 frames. Okay. Uh, it is definitely much more choppy compared to 144 frames. But it's still like pretty smooth. But not as smooth as what it was before. Yeah, no, it just will feel like uh, any of your like other games that you play at 60 frames per second, to be honest. It feels a little more jagged when I'm like spinning in circles and stuff. So it will still feel good, but it definitely won't be as good as 144. Because at the same, because you got to think about it too. 60 frames compared to 144 frames, that's like, what was it? Like a 40, 88 frame difference. So like, yeah, it, it just doesn't feel as buttery smooth as it did before. Yeah, this feels so much smoother. So no, if capped at 60 frames, it'll still feel good. Definitely still much, like, super playable. But yeah, no, I just really appreciate the fact that how smooth it does feel at a high frame rate. From my experience, I have to do side quests. Dude, I'm fine with that. I love side quests. I love side quests. Yo, we got some patch of grass, so that's scary. Tim offers uh, plenty of replay value, different conversion branches, reminds me of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon in that regard. I am curious though, is there like a way to like, if you like do finish Temp Temp, is there a way to like, make a whole new account and start from a new, or do you need a new account for that? Temp Temp Discord server, something else too, they build a great community and does are very transparent about the changes made in the game. That's cool. I'm gonna have to, first question I gotta ask him though, why can't we put numbers in our name? I wanna name myself Watt007. I'm still okay with myself naming uh, myself Misty Treadwell, but at the same time Watt007 would have been the preferred one right there. Anyway, so dude, we're playing a Nuzlocke, bro. Is this a battle? Coast is dangerous, remember to use bomb if you're in trouble, not easy to her. No Nuzlocke time, boys? Nuzlocke time? We're not doing a Nuzlocke. But yeah, no, it feels really nice. Very nice indeed. Why is that dude humping that? Bro, Temtem. I don't know if this game is ready to eat for everyone. That Pokemon be humping things. And I'm going to call him Pokemon all the time on accident. But that Temtem be humping shit. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a little sketch. Finally, someone test my skills against. Wait, Pepe the Fishmonger? Yes, Pepe, the best tamer of Zadar. I was expecting someone from the dojo, but I guess you'll do. You're officially apprenticed now. Should you be helping Flameta? She's looking for me. Well, I'll go home as soon as we're done here. Okay. Oh shit, double battle already? Okay. Yo, I actually wanna, if I can, ca if I can, I might try to catch one of those bird Pokemon. It reminds me of Rook D from Sword and Shield, and I really liked Rook D. Um, okay. Let's just go do a double team on the birdie bird. Yeah, if I can catch one of them birds, that'd be some hype. Yo, grass blade kill. Hey, that double team action, you know what it is. Squad looking kinda nice already, let's go. Get that nibble out of here. That's a little awkward that they do that after the fight. No, I, no, I actually, it's like Pokemon, never mind. Criticism, ignore it. That was just me saying my stupid thoughts out loud. Uh, we'll just do just uh, grass. Actually, we'll try Windblade and see what this does. Well, that did nothing. So that thing resists, um, what's it called? My Windblade. So I guess we should have used our powerful move with Emerald. Still gonna take me a little bit to completely understand how this system works. Cause I don't know why we can't use Mirror Shell right away though. We have to wait a whole turn. Cause we should have a max amount of MP right away. Oh well. Well, it's gonna be a 10 Master. We'll see, we'll see. Actually, no, I already lost in the first fight. I don't know if that's like something that you need to like, 
I don't know if that's something that like is forced to happen because uh, Max has like a digital Temtem. But yeah, I don't know. He got smacked up in the very first fight because he had a super effective hit thing against me. It was a big oof. Beat me, so who would take me? Pretty good for a kid, Misty. Appreciate it. Um, Yeah, I guess we should go in the grass see if we can catch any of them birds. I would love to catch one of them bird Pokemon. Bird Temtems because it looks really cool. Let's see if it's in the first route. How do we get these to encounter or... There we go. Just took a little bit. Hey, how you doing? Oh, so this game is kind of like Coliseum and XD Gale Darkness where you're forced to do um, double battles all the time. Eh. I mean, I guess it makes the game more unique, but it feels kind of awkward that we're only facing one Temtem and we have two of them out right away. Oh well. Let's hit it with a Grass Blade. Uh, actually... Okay, this is actually an issue for catching things. Oh, we can skip to the next one right away? Okay, that's cool. And we can swap them in battle, and then what does this button do? Hmm. I don't know what either of these things do. I guess we'll skip, and then peck. So I'll have to hit it with one more peck. Yo, what's up, Adam? How you doing, man? Is it possible to play this online or online only? From what I could tell, it's online only because of the fact that Temtemp kept announcing that um, there are server issues and people have been complaining that there are server issues for the game. And I don't think people would complain if there was, um, if you could play it in offline. But no, it seems to be an online only MMO. Which makes sense. Okay, so we'll wait again. Then we'll hit it with the peck again. Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. Nice. Yeah, you can start all you want. As long as you don't kill Emerald, I'm all good. That's all good. Emerald, get some rest. Okay, so let's use a temp card real quick. And then let's rest. Oh, I like that animation. I really do like the idea of catching, like, creatures with a card. I always thought that concept's pretty cool. That's sick. Uh, rename. What are we going to call this little, little chunky guy? Is it a female? If it's a female, I'm gonna call it Ruby. I think it's a female. Squad. Nice, so we caught ourselves a little birdie. Like that a lot. Um. So now, let's go to inventory. And then let's go swap them around. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll keep the two con for a while. Yeah, actually, what type is you? Wind, and then wind. Ooh, because I also like Tropical, but at the same time, I think I like Ruby more, so... I'll see if I change my opinion or not on what Temtems we swap around and stuff. <laughs> Where's Mum? We gotta go heal. Name one after me. Nah. Nah. I'm gonna name them after, uh... I'm gonna name them after names that I want to do. Adam, I already named you after a Pokemon in uh, my Platinum Let's Play. Sadly, you're not a Mon that needed to get added to the team. My main issue with my Platinum Nuzlocke is that I keep getting Water-type Pokemon. So, like, I think you and Quincy are named after Water-type Pokemon, and I have, like, no reason to add to the squad just because of the fact that's like, I already have them. I already have a Water ones out here. What's out here, Carter? People like Pegasus or anything from Academia? Yes, sir! Yo, what's up, Aaron? How you doing, man? The bottom students are probably on their way to academia. I'm gonna make them late for class. Consider this practical lesson, though. How many times are we finding two trainers at the same time? Running alongside the friend like we always do. That's how we foodoo. Fidu. Double battle. What do we got over here? Yo, look at these fools. I just realized I didn't even mean I didn't even attend to do this, but I just named both Emerald and Ruby. Uh, okay, I didn't even mean to name our Pokemon Emerald and Ruby or ten times like that, but we out here. Um, yeah, let's hit him with the... Did you go for the double attack already? Name one after Carly. I'm just gonna name... What I'm gonna do is that whatever Temtems we catch, I'm gonna come up with original names for these since this is my main account. Since this is my main account. If I do, like, a Nuzlocke on this game, I'll name them after YouTube members and stuff. But since this is gonna be, like, my main playthrough, that's what we're going to do. Anyways, there we go. So I'll finish off you. I didn't realize Ruby is so fast. That's good, though. Ruby! Pokemon ripoff? No! There's gonna be a ton of similarities to Pokemon, but at the same time, it is perfectly okay with having multiple monster capture MMO um, RPGs. 
But yeah, no, I'm gonna play through this and see how different it is from Pokemon. But yes, it is extremely similar to Pokemon, but I haven't got in depth in the game yet, so I still haven't seen like all the differences compared to Pokemon. I guess ones that I can tell you right away that's different from Pokemon is the fact that this is an MMO compared to because Pokemon is not an MMO, but this one is, so you're gonna be able to interact with like actual players real time, um, which is pretty cool. So that's like one major difference you can say between the different games and stuff. Definitely the art style is a lot different too. Be a great tamer one day. But yeah, no, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, don't tag not tamer, just training here. Let's fight. Don't you listen, I have no 10 10 not a trainer, free runner, I'm just running and jumping around, that's my thing. Trash some dances, spending every walking hour with those creatures. Sounds boring. It's not it's really good for y'all, too. For instance, if you try jumping over ledges like that one right there, you could jump over and approach it from the right side. But you can't climb up for the again on the other side, running around's half the fun. Run, jump, run, never stop moving. We'll do it just for you, since those are douchebag, anyways. And we got a battle trainer anyways. Oh, is that a capsule where you can get a free item? That capsule looks really cool. Hey, you! It's supposed to be my spot. You come to pick up all the sweet stuff around around? Well, me too, so let's tell you what. Let's fight. It looks really like question. Do you think Ash Blossom is going to come in the game? Or is it too broken to even consider? Uh, I feel like that if they added Ash Blossom this early into the game, it would stop Konami from adding certain cards that they wouldn't want to add. Yeah, they would probably, like... They would probably add cards and not add cards into the game because of Ash Blossom alone. I feel like that Ash Blossom would just be too problematic because it's such a really good card to shut down certain decks that like Konami add Ash Blossom and then they might not add a certain deck because it can either not care about Ash Blossom whatsoever or get completely countered by Ash Blossom. So yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, but at the same time, the wild area, like if I remember correctly, like sure, they're like the trainers there are like technically people, but they're still kind of like NPC type of people or whatever. I just gotta get the shit out of these pigs. Yeah, that's another thing about Temtem is that it's willing to release on um, like Xbox, PlayStation, and then of course it's already on Steam. So that's like one cool thing about this too is that for anybody that's like never got into like the monster capture uh, genre. They can now do that whenever it releases on the other platforms, and since it's on Steam already, it's really cool too. Please do not kill Ruby, I need to level up Ruby. I was hoping that we would be able to take out some of these guys already. But we missed the move. We missed the move. Yeah, Ruby's actually really quick. I mean, Emerald might just be a slow Pokemon in general, but yeah, Ruby's fucking quick. <laughs> if I get an Ice-type Temtem, I'll probably name it... I don't know what I would name it. I, um, in my Platinum Let's Play today, I named a Pokemon called Ice Shard. Sounds cool. Yeah, because in my Platinum Let's Play, I've been far enough in the game where I named literally everybody that's a YouTube member in that Let's Play. <laughs> Tough one, go ahead, we'll whatever find you earned it. I like this, how these capsules look. They look really cool. Found an apple. An apple a day keeps a Temtem vet away or starts 25% HP. That's actually cool. That's a 25% because depending on like how like... So yeah, compared to like potions and stuff, potions will like give you like 25 but then a like uh, like 25 HP, but then 25% doesn't matter like how much health your Pokemon has. I'll always give it that 25%. That's kind of cool. They have items like that. They give percentages. That's neat. Is there Temtem single battles or only dual battles? I never like that in Pokemon. That would be a deal breaker for me. From what I can tell, it is only double battles. And I kind of feel the same way. I like that in uh, Pokemon XD Guild Darkness and Coliseum. But yeah, there's sometimes where I like really like single battles. Single battles a lot. But no, it seems like they're going to do a double battle format. From what I can tell. I'm not against it though. It's still pretty fun. But yeah. I like single battles more than double battles. So I, I don't blame you for having that opinion. Still. If this game is like out for a long time. And it, and it goes on a sale or whatever. I'd say pick it up. But yeah. If you don't like double battles. Then probably don't buy it at full price. Stream sponsored by Tem? No. I mean how many viewers do I have? Hold up. Uh, we have 38 people. That's actually more than I would have thought for a non-Yu-Gi-Oh stream. But yeah, nah. I don't think like if Temtem, that would be that would be a genuine surprise if Temtem sponsored me of all people. They would sponsor like large Pokey YouTubers instead of me for crying out loud. Yeah, that's rude that you poisoned Ruby. What a douche. What a douchebag. Apple is literally a citrus berry. Well, Citrus Berry gives you 30 HP, not 30% HP. Or are you talking about the fact that I can give it to my Temtem and it'll like, eat it in the middle of combat? 
Um, can you see him walking in the grass? I enjoy thing Ken. Not everything about Temtem is fighting. I'm gonna fight everybody. Now let's sit here. Pesters me to teach him how to climb. We come all the way out here, and I just left his gear back home. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at Rockface here. I'd climb that in no time. I had proper gear. This is what we get for giving noobs a chance. Damn, girl, gotta roast him like that. Dude, I wish I haven't forgotten my climbing gear at the hotel. Now we're gonna have to climb back all the way to Australia. You would end up happening to have climbing gear, would you? No, sorry. Yeah, I didn't have much hope. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Temtem best sponsor. Our Watt for real, for real. Nah, probably not gonna happen. Uh, let's heal up Ruby real quick. And uh, let's go battle. I'm Sarah. I'm Lara. And together we are the, le the Lethal Twins. That's right, Lara. I'm Sarah. That's what I said. No, you, I mean. Preference Battle Stranger. Whatever, let's fight. Yeah, hell yeah. Yo, these guys swear. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm liking the designs of some of these Temtems. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if I should probably move the face cam. I just realized that it covers a good portion of the gameplay. Um, Let's move that down here. There we go. And then... Actually, we'll move it like... Oops. There we go. Um... I didn't realize that it covered uh, the game pretty bad. I might adjust it again a second time. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'll, I'll probably see how it looks like in Overworld too, but yeah, I don't want to cover the HP points. Let's go Grass Blade, go Peck, boom. I like seeing that card throw. Yeah, it's really cool. I like the concept of using a card instead of a Pokeball. The cards remind me of Digimon Season 3. I never played Digimon, so I wouldn't know. But yeah, no, I like the card concept. Double Battle's Pokemon is a headache. Everyone and their mother uses Protect. Wait, does Protect heal a Protect both Pokemon, if I remember correctly? But yeah, no, it's kind of interesting. Oh, man, they got more than one Pokemon each. Okay, okay, relax, relax. You got this duck, bro? Relax. Oof. Glassodo Blade. Yeah, honestly, the, a move called Glass Blade is actually pretty badass. I'm kind of glad I chose Emerald. Oh, okay, relax, relax, relax. Okay, yeah, we gotta heal. We don't want to lose our boy Emerald right now. Yo, we got a pig. Okay, bag. Let's use a balm. Heal up our boy. And then we'll go for that. That's a nice little... What was it? What is the, what is the term? Nice change of pace. Probably not. We're gonna... Yeah, that's not the right term I was thinking of. But, oh yeah, nice quality of life change right there. I like... Compared to Pokemon... With double battles in Pokemon and like story wise, whenever you heal your Pokemon, it'll like automatically heal it right away. You don't have like a choice to back out if you actually don't want to do that. I'm glad this thing does that. Tell it cooler using a card over a Pokeball. I guess, yeah. Well, I wouldn't disagree. Ah, we wasted our Mirror Shell. Oh, wait, what the fuck does Mirror Shell even do? Oh, raises my special defense. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but can you stop fucking attack? Oh my god, are you joking me? I can't believe we already lost, like, or we already... Emerald already fainted. Some BS, some BS. Good thing we're not nuzlocking this. But I thought that last move was like a power move, but nope, that just raises our special defense. And these guys are using physical moves. That makes me mad. What the fuck does Bamboozle do? Can you not attack my Pokemon I like? Attack Tropical. That's true of voice, too. So that's cool. It actually tells you some stats. Okay, so I'd, I wonder if speed is determined by the Temtem or the move. It looks like the move. Interesting. Interesting. That's starting to make some more sense now. A Protect blocks one move for coverage. There's like Earthquake and Wide Guard. Yeah, no, like, double battles compared to single battles is, like, a whole all new way to play Pokemon. It's a completely different metagame. It's pretty cool. How do you do it? A new strategy, Lara, Sara. Yo, I need a heal, bro. I need a heal. 
Fuck. Yo, dog, we're gonna heal. I wanna level up Emerald. <laughs> we're taking the long way back home. I'm not wasting my vibe right now. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, can we get shiny Temtems, bro? Hey, we got another Paro. Yeah, I really like the card concept. Probably one of my favorite parts of the game already. I failed both attempts to run away. Are you fucking joking? Really? Really? Come on, guys. Stop clowning. <laughs> I guess we're beating the shit out of this Paro. That's what you, I guess that's what you're gonna get, bud. Well, you are a dead boy. Dead. Yeah, Dupec is way too damn fast. Time to die. This is your fault, Paro. Bro, Paro does not die. Paro's pissing me off, bro. This is level 3 Paro that's a male? Not a fan. Ruby, though, on the other hand? Ruby's a real MVP. Meta is in constant rank. Like, oof. Dude, I have not been playing, uh, what's it called? Hashtag Temp -temp sponsor, sponsor 107. Oh, yes. oh, seven. Yes. Thank you so much, Adam, for the $1 dono. Yo, Adam, did you buy new RAM yet? <laughs> Yo, Misty, hurry up. We ain't got all day. Hey, Emerald is back. Yeah, I probably could have thought a better name for Emerald, but oh well. Oh well, indeed. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. So is Tropical a Kata? Uh, I, I don't know. All I know is that Tropical or Tropical is like given to us from the professor. Make it too much noise, stop around like that, like you did, scared off the water, Tim Tim. You can see a tour goes from here and fly into surfboard. Ooh, there's a lot of interesting items on here. I get paid to my so tomorrow morning. Sure, honey, but the only thing but the only thing is crushing my soul. Oof. Not gonna lie, that water be hidden different in a good way. Some good water. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You know what, bud? You're dead. <laughs> you pissed me off. Squad. Assemble. Pecco. Glassado Blade. Dead. Oh, we get fish. We get the fish ten times. I'd assume so. That'd make a lot of sense. Yeah, hopefully you can get some cool water ones. I know like one popular temptem is like this uh, water platypus. Oh, I would not mind getting it. G fuel? Nah, it's just normal water. Like, so I have three shaker cups right now, Adam. This one right here is my dedicated. Um, is my dedicated. Uh, what's it called? Water, water G fuel. Just water. Yo, G Fuel, when are you adding a water flavor, bro? Yo, where am I? Oh, let's go on the complete wrong path. But yeah, now I'm drinking out of my G Fuel shaker cup. Yeah, I use my PD Whip Pie one and my black one for the G Fuel, which I need to actually refocus. I got work tomorrow. But then, um, yeah, I have this green one for good old water. Interesting. Two is normal priority, one's 50% speed, one's uh, three is uh, 150 speed, four is 175 speed, and five is off the scales. Interesting. Interesting indeed. It's kind of interesting that, yeah, it's the moves that are for the priority, not the speed of the Temtem. But at the same time, um, let me see. Isn't there a speed stat? Um, special defense? No, it looks like there's not. HP, STA. Wait, what does STA and STP mean? Because there's attack, defense, special attack, special defense. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what those mean. Yeah, it's actually really interesting. Double battle. You have another bomb, Sal? Here you are, but next time bring your own. I'll keep telling you, Feedy. I know, or you carry a lot of bomb when you go hunting. I just forgot, okay? Hey, you, come here and fight us. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Got an octopus thing. Let's double team on the octopus. Ooh, that thing ate it up. 
Yeah, what the heck does Stare do? Lowers my defense, that's not good. At least the Octopus is slow. Ooh, it's a water type. Okay, so we should be able to take out the uh, Stinky Octopus. There we go. Now we only gotta worry about is Paro. Stamina and speed. Oh, is stamina or like blue bar? Ooh, wind blade, don't mind if I do. Okay. Hmm. Try to nibble. Wake up, Ruby. This is not the time to sleep. Yo, Paro, only use that move. That's it. Don't attack me. Just only use that move. Yo, Ruby woke up. Let's go. Window Blade. It's probably not super effective yet. Yeah, same type. That makes sense. But Grass or Glass Blade just demolished right there. Nice, nice, nice. Dang, I'm surprised we've already been streaming for an hour. That's crazy. Let me bomb, Sal. Get your own. You clowns. You gotta go to the Pokemon Center. We weren't even close. Yeah, that is true. So what do you have to say? Hi, Misty. Took you a while to make it here. Just kidding. How are you doing? How do you know my name? I work at the Temporal in this place. I'm a friend of the professor. You had to hurry to town, but he asked me to check on you kids. Also, I'm gonna go put this on. No way this takes Pokemon out. It doesn't. And it won't. Because Pokemon is just way too popular for franchise. My day off, but don't worry. Let's see the stall over there. That's a mini temporarium. Talents and proper temporary abilities. You can find mini temporaries like this one on strategic places. You can heal Temtems uh, here, there to heal your Temtem. You also can organize a team or buy stuff. Nice. So this is a little Poke Center. Is it Misty? I've never seen you this far without Anna. Anyway, how can I help? Bye. Well, that's cool. Um, sweet lavender notes with a warm black peppercorn heart. For some reason, Temtem don't like it. it reduces on team counters for a while. That's cool. Some more Pokeballs and some more potions. Cool. Um, I think we're good. Um, I guess. Yeah, we'll wait. We still got a lot, right? Backpack. Yeah, we still got six. And then what about um, ten cards? Yeah, we're getting them both, to be honest. So I won't worry about it too much. So is this how we heal them? Yes, we do. Okay, it doesn't make sense though that like our Temtem is still out while they get healed like that. That makes no sense. Got a little PC box, nice. Oh, they have a competitive section too, that's cool. So one thing I think they should change, I, I mean, it's it's a, it's a really unnecessary change, but like you heal your Temtem, right? In this like card thing, but at the same time your Temtem's still out there, like how is he getting healed? Man, no Nurse Joy, just Karen from SpongeBob healing the Temtem. Hey, they gotta make it a little different than normal, bro. You gotta. I did not mean to do that. Fuck. Don't, 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 don't. Hey, we good. No encounters. I did not mean to click that. Okay, cool. Got a little coral and shit. What's up, Toga Kiss? Wow, I'm beat. Let's just sit here in the grass for a second. Then you come all the way from Zyra. You must be exhausted too. Nah, I'm fine. You might be, but your Temtem. But think of your time, Temtem, all the fighting they're doing. You must watch your Temtem stamina. It gets too low, they might injure themselves. What kind of Temtem terror would you be if you didn't take good care of them? So keep an eye on their stamina. And I'll show you how to lose some stamina. And now I'll show you how to lose some stamina. Okay then. You give me this whole spiel on to not overwork my Temtems, and then you're like, I'm gonna battle you. Okay. It is not available on Android, but currently it's available on Steam, um, and they're going to make it available on Xbox, PS4, and Switch, Nintendo Switch, in the future. Okay. Oh, man, I feel the sleep you already. God dang. The worst part is I slept in today because I had a day off of work. Life is just too exhausting, man. Too exhausting indeed. Okay. Um... Eh, we might as well double hit it. Window blade. But yeah, no, this game is super fun. There we go. Toxic spores. Why are you making both of my Pokemon toxic? That's very rude. We lose one eighth of our health, that's a problem. Okay, so we're gonna hit with that grass blade. Wind blade. 
And the glass and wind. I like blade moves though. Blade moves are cool. Glass of the blade. Oh, that's super effective too. Well, I wonder what type that is. It looks like a bug type. Whatever the case may be, we're able to get rid of that pretty easily. Let's tempt him up. Yeah, have you checked your stamina? Is the stamina the blue bar? You see how important it is to get your stamina? You want to be in me otherwise smart. Dude, I did not know what I was doing, dog. Ah, I see. 43 and 141. So I wonder if stamina is that purple bar. So even if your temp time is not fainted, it could potentially not fight because it doesn't have stamina. Hmm. I guess we'll see. Or that. that might, I hope the bottom things are EXP gauge. Yeah, I really don't know where the stamina bar is. I don't know what that is. Is the blue one, purple one, or green one? I genuinely do not know. What do you have to say? Fresh new face heading to Academia. See, I'm sure you can use the practice before you get on it with your theory classes. I guess so. You got an interesting outfit there, bud. Emerald and Ruby, get ready. Yo, Alexander, if you're still in the stream, hello. Sorry that I did not notice your name earlier, but uh, yeah, if you're still in the stream, how you doing, man? Glass of blade. Ooh, get destroyed. Watching your stream on my Nintendo Switch again. Dude, thank you for supporting the stream, man. I appreciate it. Especially for a stream that's not Yu-Gi-Oh. I really do appreciate it. Crystal Dust. Cool. So we'll probably be using that one from now on. You know what? I think I might want to catch one of those ducks for the meme. Anyways, what the hell does this do? Details. It's a miniature version of Star Rain that's set to spawn. Hmm. Well, let's use it. Let's try it out. Let's beat the shit out of that duck. Duck, you about to die. Whoa, this move is cool. Holy shit, that's a cool move. Get destroyed, duckling. Quack, quack. This place has a lot of bubble tire or water type Pokemon. Tem Tems. Good thing we have higher priority than this fool, so we won't need to worry too much about healing. A. Easy dub, easy dub indeed. Oh shit, we already are. Okay, that's actually extremely soon for an evolution. I gotta say though, this evolution looks sick. Whoa, that's awesome. So level nine for an evolution, that's actually crazy. That is super, super, super soon. But I'll take it though, Ruby? You do not look like a female no more, but that's okay. Cause I believe, yeah, I named it Ruby cause it was a female bird. Now it looks like a male bird. My thoughts are idiotic, but that's okay. Yeah, we got that evolution though, it's fucking sick. <laughs> got a little capsule. An ether. A basic stamina booster. Popular. Stores 20 STA. So I'm guessing the blue bar must be it. Yeah, the blue bar must be the stamina bar. Interesting. Work in progress content. Oh shit. Damn, bro, this game's incomplete. What the heck? What the heck? Up in the morning to you, fellow tamer. It's a great day to be outdoors, enjoying the sea breeze, the smell of moist grass, and chipple turbing a temtem. Bro, is this Jacksepticeye dead ass? Care for a temtem balance? What well, it needs to be an absolute perfect day. <laughs> I believe this and Pokemon can go as this. Oh, it definitely can. Yeah, Temtem and Pokemon can coexist. It's actually a good thing to have different um, types of games that are similar to each other because it promotes competition at the end of the day. That's why I've always liked like Pokemon ROM hacks and Pokemon fan games too because like there is so much like more things that they can bring to the table just because it's somebody's own project that isn't like and they don't have to worry about having any specifics. They can just make the game how they will. So that's why it always sucked that like Nintendo and stuff would crack down on people's like fan games and stuff for Pokemon, even though in a sense, those people making these Pokemon fan games could potentially add really cool features that could get incorporated to future Pokemon games and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if there's any rare Pokemon in this little secluded spot. Let's find out. 
Evolution makes me realize that there's still areas Pokemon's lacking in. What if the Pokemon's evolution is more of like in the anime? Hmm. Uh... Yo, we can catch the pig. I might catch the pig for the meme. I don't know how to respond to that. So the evolutions make me realize there's still areas Pokemon are lacking in. What if the Pokemon evolution is more of like in the anime? I'm trying to remember, like, I don't remember, uh, cause I don't watch the Pokemon anime that much. I right, talk about like the like oddities that the anime like does, where they like incorporate like unnatural event or like things that only happen in anime and never the games. Like, are you talking about stuff like that? I'm gonna have to get more water. So I did not realize how thirsty I was. Oof! Quack. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Nice. Let's go catch the pig for the meme. Hey, what's up, Caleb? How you doing, man? Playing some Temtem, as you can see. And I appreciate you for stopping by to the stream. Um, rename. I honestly, I don't know if I'll keep it on the team, so we're just gonna call it Oink. In the way that the Pokemon in the anime glow and change shape. Oh, I didn't even notice that when uh, Ruby was evolving. Yeah, that would actually be a cool feature that they, that they should do. Yeah, I didn't even notice that when Ruby was evolving. One thing that uh, this game incorporated that the Pokemon game doesn't is the fact that when you catch a Pokemon or catch a Temtem, you can release it right away if you want. And that reminds me of uh, in the anime, what Paul was a try, I guess you could say try hard or like a person that's uh, very statistical on their stats and stuff. And it was like, hey, it's Pokemon doo doo, not the right nature. Release. Yeah, no, this game is super fun. And who is texting me? Will they do that after stream? Bum, ba, boom. I'll tell you what though, this music reminds me of like early Pokemon. Do 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 Um No fight. This guy is just an NPC that only wants to fight. I believe he had a move that was super effective against these boys. Feels a flying type move or a wind type move? Find out soon though. Window blade. Oh yeah, that was a move right there. Crystal moves are super effective against these things. What about wind moves though? Barely anything. Times four resistant, damn. That's crazy. So Ruby will not be using those moves no more. Um, yeah, I'll just peck it. Yeah, peck has a high priority, that's for sure. Probably wasted a lot of stamina here, but oh well. It is satisfying absolutely destroying a Temtem. Oh shit. Um Wind Burst. Huh. Guess we'll do that. Defeated? Blah. Someone looks angry that I whooped. That I beat the crap out of them. You do do though. Look at Temtem Trainer. But how well do you know your Temtem? Did you know that each type of Temtem is effective? Of course I knew. Auto attempt him what they're very effective against. Fire type. Fire beats water. Uh, you use them against what sort of attempt him? Nature. Let's get ready to rumble. Maybe that's why I thought it was similar, because like I said um, earlier in today's stream, right now um, in the back end of things, I've been recording a Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. I think the first up I think I'm gonna release the first episode of February 3rd. But yeah, I've been doing a good old uh, Pokemon randomizer for Pokemon Platinum. I'm really looking forward to that project coming out soon. Because currently I recorded 
Am I at 17 or 18? I think I'm at 18 episodes into the series. But yeah, no, it's been a super fun series. I've been enjoying it a lot. I'm actually get, getting through the game quicker than I thought to. Which is also really nice. You know the green bar is HP, blue bar is stamina, and green bar is XP. Thank you for that. I kind of got that now, but thank you, though. I like the confirmation. Yeah, no, I was really tempted on getting the Fire Temp Temp, but I'm okay of getting uh, our boy Emerald, because I like the glass-type moves. I think the glass-type stuff is kind of cool. Got some more trainers lurking. Lurking in the background. There we get up there, though. Man, I'm genuinely surprised at how tired I'm feeling when I actually slept for a good amount of time today. Life is too damn exhausting. How the fuck do I get over there? You know what? I'm not a smart person. February 3rd, marking that on the calendar. Yeah, that's like my estimated release day. I'll update you guys on like the official, official re release day, but my current plan is to release it on February 3rd. As a way, it's like a little one. We should introduce ourselves first. Hello, stranger. I am Voltoa. This is my daughter, Agapi. I'm Misty Treadwell. Hi, Misty Treadwell. Let's fight then. Yes, come on, Mom. Let's see if we can defeat Misty Treadwell. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really happy that I got the thumbnail done because the thumbnail's looking fucking nice. It's looking fresh. Let's just do the wind moves. Crystal Dust Stone, Window Blade. Okay, we're not using wind moves no more. <laughs> what are you boosting? Your defense? Yerp. Uh, that toxic spore, that's a little. Right, you're getting poisoned, it's so annoying. Okay. And we'll use Peck. Boom. Wow, did not kill. Oofy poopy scoopy. <laughs> Though, if you can find a Zeref, you should catch it. It has a strong typing defensively. Hmm. I think for now, I'm just gonna just catch Temtems that I just personally think look cool. And just go from there. But thank you for the recommendation, though. This guy's boosting his defense, bro. <laughs> Dude, that's nice, man. Yeah, no, my since uh, I work at retail right now, and so since the holidays are over, this month of January has been super chill. Like during the holidays, like November, December, I would have like eight. I would have eight-hour weeks like every day. Tomorrow, I only got like a five hour week, or I mean a five hour shift, so it's like, nice. Growing up, one day should be like, Misty. We'll see about that. Have a nice day. Sorry for being a douchebag. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah, let's go heal the squad. Saku looks like Hopip. I think it's the name. Yeah, if you're talking about that, because Hopip is that like little floaty pink thing. Mm. Do you know we have we met? No, no, we have not. Figures never forget a face. In any case, I'm happy to meet new people, especially tamers. Dungeon Master tells us to go out our way and try out our attempts against different people. So what do you say about a fight? Hell yeah, brother. Also, electric types look strong. By the way, the names Ruby and Emerald are in the show Ruby on YouTube. Yeah, I don't know. I always like the name uh, or the idea of like naming things after like cool rocks and stuff. I don't know why. I just do. It's a habit of mine. That's why I named these after Ruby and Emerald. I didn't even mean to like name both of them after rocks. Like I wasn't trying to correlate their names at all. I was just like Ruby's red and it's a female. So I was like, that's a good name. And then I, the only green name I could think of was Emerald right away. Okay, actually, yeah, I should have been focusing on the level 11. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. We are just back in the game. What do I say? Get out of here, Paro. Get out of here. Ah, I also meant to do more damage. Window burst. I think we can kill if we crystal dust and peck. 
So Peck will do the damage, and I think Chrysalis will finish things off. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've been okay with, like, the last hours at work. It sucks that I'm getting less money, because every time I look at my paychecks every week, I'm like, bro, these paychecks are fucking trash. But it is really nice to uh, get the last hours at work so I can do other stuff at home. Dude, at this rate, I might as well name it Sapphire. Hello, I'm Misty Treadwell. Hi, Misty. Sorry, I don't want to talk. Want to fight? <laughs> Honestly, I kind of do like the character interactions of this game. Listen, uh, Zinup, I don't want to. Or, sorry, I thought you were a friend of mine. <laughs> what is this question? Friend? What's the matter? I mean, it's Tem related. Maybe I can help? You didn't know about Temtem, -tem. you can't really help unless you're a proper pr trainer, but I am. Okay then, so that's Tep and I. So, so, everything was working until she, this sounds ridiculous, but anyway, she really loves Win Temtem, -tem. me and Mortal are Temtem, -tem, sort of. Bro, this guy's having a relationship. So, everything was working out until she does, sounds ridiculous, but anyway, she loves the wind. I'm more of a water. Big deal. I know, I know, don't judge me, okay? Anyway, so this escalated, and now we're not speaking terms. I know we should, uh, s should do something now, but you know, I'm a stubborn one, and she is, maybe you can. Talk to her. Nice suggestion, but I'd rather you didn't do anything, perhaps another day. Okay, it's an interesting side quest. I wonder if there's anything would get come from that. Oh, you can interact with your Temtem? -tem? That makes sense, but it's cute. Roster, I have a question for you, do you like boats? What sort of question is that? Just something to break the ice. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm mediocre about boats. I'm a mediocre. Uh, when it comes to working at retail, I help out with trucks and I help stock items. I, I am trained to do cashiering, so if I have to, I have to. I can do cashiering one time. Yeah, because like for example, during Black Friday, I was actually supposed to cashier. So that was interesting, even though I was a truck guy. So all my coworkers that I normally work with weren't there with me during Black Friday. Um, but yeah, no. Primarily, I help out with truck-related stuff and uh, stocking stuff. Right now, it's mostly been just working on random shit at the store, just because of the fact that um, we haven't been getting any trucks. We we're supposed to get a truck at work this week, but it got canceled. So that sucks because I like doing truck shifts because it gives me something to do. Because my least favorite thing about working in retail is being bored. I fucking hate being bored. Um, anyways, I guess I'll say I love boats. I like my sister. Everyone is so so the boats and just sailing all that stuff. Same after day or tempted battle. Wanna fight? Don't have time for that really, it's on a break. Um, see you around. Sure, have a good day. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it took you so long. So, if I want to catch an airship, I have to rush their stroll right now. Otherwise, I'll have to wait a marshal and I hear that it needs extensive repairs. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Professor Kronos, I understand. Go then, my friend. I'll take care of the kids. Yo, what's up, Sophia? How you doing? Thank you, Sophia. Oh, you want drinks around me next time you come to Aubrey? Haha, <laughs> I should hold you to the to your word, Professor. But well, I see your youngest disciple has arrived. Right on time, Mr. Treadwell. Kids, let me introduce you to my friend Sophia. She's the dojo master of Astrola. <laughs> Hi, kids. How are you? I'm giving you a little tour of Mar before I drop you off at the Academia. Kids, this is where we part. My airship sails in an hour, so I have to rush. I'll leave you in the capable hands of Sophia. Ah, get out of here, Cassano, so you'll miss your flights. See you later, nerd. Very well, follow me, friends. I just realized Mars's eyes look red. That is concerning. This little shop, here is the Louis Souvenirs. The Louis, Louis Souvenirs. Socks all sort of knickknaps for tourists. It's a good place to get your first uh, Tamis Vital. God, these words are so weird. No apprentice should go without them, so save as soon as you can afford it. Okay, on this way now. No immunities, only weaknesses and resistance. Cool. <laughs> Shout out to the guy that claimed OK Boomer. I'm genuinely surprised that nobody took that until now. We just witnessed the only guy that's called OK Boomer. Nice. And it go lake is always peaceful. Some days when the river is too crowded, I come here to serve a bit, train my water tum tum. This building here is your academia. It's managed by associate teachers from the dojo. That's where I'm going, to the dojo. One day, Max, when you're ready. For now, all apprentices come here to learn the basics. Once you're probably trained, you might join my dojo in Australia, but no buts. But. And this way is the Temporarium. Mm. It's our local Temporarium. There's one of these in every major town. It's where Tamers come in, heal our Temtem, -tem and buy Temtem -tem stuff. <laughs> they have all you need and more. It's always a good idea to pay them a visit soon you arrive to a new town, okay? So that's the equivalent of Pokemon Center. Mm. These are the t 
Castalian Cliffs on the road to Estrella. Can be dangerous, so never go that way without an adult. We are adults. And the docks are that way. I could spend hours on sitting here, feeding the water, watching the pan sun turn the river into gold and fire and pestle and pinks. That says her little Mar. Hope you make lots of friends, enjoy your stay. Class starting now, kids go back to the dojo if you're ever in Estrella. Come by to the dojo and say hi very well then, have a great day. You heard her, Misty. I bet you can place her to Damia faster than you did. Like I said, come visit me at the dojo one day. Loser. Yo, what a clown. What a clown. Mars, you're a clown. So I'm guessing these are the healing stations right here. Uh, hey, buddy's first time using a temp stack station? No, I should have known a thing. Leave me your eye, my friend. You really know your temp decks. Good training. Gotta get up 5 a.m. for work, so have a great night. Dude, don't worry about it, man. For me, I gotta get up at 5 a.m. for work also. So I feel I feel you, man. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by to the stream. Appreciate it. Cool. So those are some items to consider. Uh, I will do. We're not gonna end the stream. We still got about 30 minutes in the stream. I'm gonna go get some more water real quick. So I'll be back real quick, guys. Down one of my cups. What, what, what water? What, what water? <sighs> tastes good, tastes good. I can tell that I'm like really thirsty for how good that water is hitting. For once, water is like A. <laughs> for first time, water is like A. Dude, I appreciate that you're enjoying the stream, man. Um, I'll definitely see how I'm going to tackle doing Temtem content after the stream. Because I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't mind to continue streaming Temtem. Like, I wouldn't be against it. It's just the fact that there could be better things I can do for the overhaul, overall health of my YouTube channel. Or I don't know what I'll do after this when it comes to it. So, I wouldn't mind doing more Temtem streams. It just depends on, like, if I can get, like, other content out on the same day as Temtem. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't mind pushing myself to like stream every day and release content every day, so I don't know. I'll definitely see how I tackle things in the future, but we'll still keep playing this game for now, and I would not be against playing more Temtem. But yeah. What the heck's going on here? Nice. I guess this thing. Interesting. What are our kids doing now? Can you chop those tomatoes? No, I'm busy cooking the onions. Do it yourself. Aw, oh, that man. I don't know if any of these characters give us free items, though. Hello, friend. You looking for Luanaires? Just imagine how many out-of-towners come here every day thinking of Luanaires. Just me poor as house. I see I'll be on my way. I just want free stuff. Dead ass, bro. I just want free stuff. Whatever it is, not now stumbling for it. Want to talk about Timology? Dude, nope. <laughs> From a can't hang out tonight. Gotta study for finals. Let's hang out. Tempting dude, but I gotta crack Timology if I ever wanna go to Earth. Just taking a little nap and get to it. Cool story, look around. I don't have a third bed. Sorry, I should study too. Good luck. <laughs> I like it how this game just allows you to be a clown. It's something that I do like about it. Anyways, where is this souvenir place? What's so special about this place? Oh, my shop, we like a postcard or an eccentric. I'm not on vacation. Oh, I see. I'm actually do look familiar. Wait, I know you're anus kid, right? Mo, have you grown? Last time I brought you to my shop, you're this little balling baby. You don't remember, eh? Oh, look at you now, new apprentice. Incredible. Anyways, what could I do for you? I'm a surfboard. Sorry, it's the last one yesterday. I was a very cool board indeed. Sophia bought it. I'm supposed to get more stuff next week if you don't mind waiting. Sure, I have one to let me check. Here it is. No serious Tim Tim can go without it. It's pulling stuff, so it comes with many vitals, windows to heal your whole squad. Hey, Charger family friend, let's do something else in that. I'll help you give this for free if you're serious about your Tamer career. I am. And I don't doubt it. I just need some proofs before I give you some freebies. If you came from Zadar, you must have caught some wild time down the way. That's the minimum I expect for a Tamer. 
Um, bring me any tamer from the coast, any princess worth that name will be able to come through. I have a Parzak, that's a big birdie, good catch. Very well, I think you can have what it takes to be a good tamer. Here's the tentative vital. It's very powerful, which is why Terrian is going to only carry one dose in this file. But don't worry, you can refill out a heal tamer machine any to 4 a.m. Uh, and then some people have their own supply of it too. Cool. So it's basically like a on-the-go Pokemon Center that you can use one time, and then you can refill at any Pokemon Center. That's actually really cool. Uh, welcome to every student. Yes. Knew it. Uh, you're in the right place for that. See you. Bye, enjoy your stay. Yeah, I don't really care about talking. Yo, what's up? What's up, beach people? How you doing? Junior, stop that, I swear. I'm leaving you kids with the babysitter. Damn. Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? Marvel day for swimming, is it? Actually, all days are swimming days. Once again, water, nothing else matters to me and cereal. Swimming is the best thing to do. You can pretty much get anywhere if you know how to swim. Uh, I prefer surfing. I think you need a surfboard for that. I hear they're difficult to come by. Why don't you get in the water and crawl way around the sea? Temtem's cards get wet. See, one of those Temtem craze tamers, like my sister Sophia, always going on about Temtem. Boring. What types of critters then, non swimmer? Damn, girl. You really do be like that. Um, It's okay. Not excited enough for you, youngins? Well, if you know your way around the cliffs, you should try to start a pretty excitement up there. Interesting. First of all, more mystery dungeon can't Conte, you should replay the demo five more times. A, I I don't know, yeah, because, like, the demo was fun, and I was glad that I Let's Played it. I just don't know if I'm going to Let's Play, like, the full, like, mystery dungeon game. I Knowing me, I feel like I'm probably just going to just, like, play the new mystery dungeon game in my own time. Because it's another one of those situations where it's, like, probably for the betterment of, like, my health and my YouTube channel, I should probably not Let's Play it. And I probably would enjoy the game more if I did only, um, if I just played it on my own. Still, when it comes to like Pokemon related content though, I am releasing a Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke very, very soon, which I'm really looking forward to. So if you're itching for Pokemon content from your boy Watt 7 I got you covered. But just for Mystery Dungeon wise, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a Let's Play on it. So I feel like I'd enjoy the game more if I didn't, but let me go find my folder real quick. As you gamer can see, as you gamers can see, if we go to Screen Uno, Go for screen Uno. I am 17 parts so far, and would you look at that? We got some cool little logo test thumbnails. Look at that. It's looking kind of nice. Might update the overlay too. This is not my official overlay done for it. But yeah, things are looking pretty good for the project, and we have 17 episodes in. So I just need to edit them all out, still figure out how my intro is going to be, and then go in from there on out. So very, very epic indeed. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a let's play on pokemon mystery dungeon dx i think i just enjoy it more if i just play it done on my own time type of thingy i think i might still do some more temp time though and then yeah pokemon platinum nuzlocke estimated release date for that february 3rd yeah now i'm really happy that i got the like thumbnail finish for um for tomorrow and yes i'm a sailor have you been to Across the water, on the water. We tourist skins love to get our feet wet. Let's see east of shore of the city driftwood. Anyways, what happened to my man? My name is Pino the Old Salt. I'm Misty. You like a good one, Misty. Come at any time you want to hear some wonderful tales. The names in this game are very interesting, to say the least. Very oddball names from what I'm used to. <laughs> at least they're original. What's up, girl? How you doing? Must be a new one. Cool. Welcome to Academia. I know. Max told me I'm Zara. Um, yeah. Anyways, I still know that Sophia showing you two around. You guys must really have friends in high places. I guess I do. No false modesty, I see. Figures your first day academia and dojo master. Some Sophia personally comes to greet you. Um, yeah, sure. Anyways, we're here to learn about the Temtem Tamers, not the chattel they see in class. Did I suck at talking to people? Holy heck, man. Oh well. Here's a pretty one of those episodes. Hopefully it was a pretty one of those episodes, one of my favorites to know pokes, but then again, I love all kind of pokes. Um, I know I encountered one in the wild, I believe. Yeah, cause like, so what it, the project is, it's called the Pokemon Eclipse Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. So since it is a randomizer Nuzlocke, um, all the Pokemon and stuff are, uh, you know, yeah, randomized and stuff. And shout out to somebody who called Digimon. What an epic name, what an epic name indeed. But no, I, I think I encountered a couple of Paraglis in the wild, but like the first trainer or the first like galactic battle you do, she did not have a Prelogly no more, so it was randomized. It was randomized. Welcome. Shouldn't you be heading to the next class? Deadass, I don't even know where my next class is. Okay, my... Oh, hi. Huh, you must be Dliss, Misty Treadwell. Hi. Please 
Take a scene and pay attention. Let's get started. Who can recite all the elemental fire type volunteers for me? Sit down, wait for the bell to ring. Okay, then. Nice class. I'm dipping. <laughs> what about you? Hello, young pupil. What's your name? Guybrush Indigo Manoia. Oh, that's somewhat unexpected. In any case, please take a seat. We're about to start today's class. Please opening your mastering 1010 statistics. Go to page six. A. Ah, oh, I wanted the guy to do spin circles with me. He just dipped though. He gone. He gone. Legendary Temtems, anyone? Dude, we'll find them. We'll find them. What is this? Status and condition can affect Temtem during battle at 14 different types. Cold and frozen. A Temtem gets cold twice, will become frozen. While frozen, the Temtem won't be able to attack. Temtem, this Temtem cannot attack if it's asleep, but it'll wake up if attacked. Trapped, the effect of Temtem cannot be swapped. Doomed, when the counter turns zero, the Temtem's knocked out. That's a crazy stat. Seized, when the Temtem will lose an item effect it's carrying, it won't be able to use it while it's seized. Poison, lose one eighth of maximum health points. Burn, lose one sixteenth maximum health points. And its attack and special attack reduced by 30%. Exhausted, stamina and cost increased by 50%. Aggravated, stamina and cost increased by 50 Immune, Temtem is immune to new status conditions. Regenerating, um, Temtem heals one tenth of its maximum health points each turn. Isolated, synergies won't work with the isolated Temtem. Neutralized, Temtem strengths and weaknesses don't apply. Temtem can have two statuses conditioned at the same time. When a new condition applies, the oldest one, oldest active one, is removed. All statuses are non-volatile. That means statuses cannot be uh, removed by swapping uh, Temtem, and they remain when you, even if you exit combat. Dude, that's actually kind of cool. I like how in-depth that is. Please be more punctual. We're almost to finish with today's class. Should name your should have name your should have said that your name is Ignigo Manoia. You killed my father for Fred to die. Oh, that's what it's referenced to. Cause I I, I remember that reference. <sighs> Wait, what was the movie called? Was it called The Holy Grail? No, 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 no. I don't think it was that one. Fuck. I think I actually watched that movie in my fucking English class. I just forgot what it was called. Yeah, I forgot. Wait, 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 wait. I, I genuinely forgot the name of that movie was, but I remember watching it in my fucking English class. Because my English teacher back in freshman year was obsessed with that movie. What brings you here, young one? Is this my classroom? No, it's not. I'm the mistress of my office. Terribly busy. Is there anything reason you should be here at all? Anything I can help you with? You help me. You should be studying my young word. Actually, something you could do for me, you know, or Roger, they're classmates of your. Well, they're nowhere to be found. They miss in every class, like you, but immediately I'm starting to get concerned. Could you see if you can find them? Um. Where did you last see them? Any clue? Remember this thing that Roger was very excited about getting surfboard his birthday present? That was last week. Okay, I'll find them very well. Keep it discreet. We absolutely not want to involve Carlos to make it official. The community has a reputation to protect. Go back when you find them. I'll make sure to get your best remarks. Okay. Princess Bride, there we go. Look at that dude, the wind's perfect, the waves dude, I wish we had a surfboard. Where do you get a board? Lewis used to sell pretty cool boards at the shop. Same in all spring to get one now. Turns out they're sold out, damn tourists. Dude, I just find it so funny that these characters swear, especially a little girl. Where do you go? Start here, Indigo Lake, warm up a bit. It was waves right off the pier, you know, the cave in the cliffs, Riptide's pretty gnarly, dude. I don't know, maybe cross over to uh, Turquisa, maybe change the pace, or hit the upper indigo. Hey, there's a couple of sweet lakes up in the hills, nobody goes there. Oh, dude, that would rock. Good luck. Yeah, bye. Okay. <laughs> oh, I want to climb the ladder. Let me climb it. It's there for a reason, right? What is this house, anyways? Oh, we already been in here before. Why are these surfer kids? Do, 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 do. Come to contemplate the what? Although. So, what do you do? Stuttering the river. Dude, I don't even want to read this thing because his wording is so fucking weird. Um, not very deeply. I must go. Okay. You have very weird wording, amigo. 
Very weird wording indeed. So we gotta go find them in Briggle. Hmm. Well, we'll find them eventually. There we go. Sorry for the interruption, everybody. My younger brother was bothering me. Where are these two kids, though? I genuinely don't know. Might be a good chance that they're uh, trainers or something, but I don't think they're back here. I must go. Yeah, I wonder where the uh, Yusuf and Roger are at. I mean, it did say in Briggle, so I don't know if going to like a new route would be any use. Ooh, these side quests. These side quests. And I also like that duck. I might catch one for like the meme. Uh, only train trainers allowed. Sorry. I am a tamer. Watch my I'm a tamer. Watch my temp cards. I'm a tamer. Watch my slagger. Uh, I guess I go ahead. Watch these other rocks get slippery. Wait, so we can go up? Oh shit. Uh, I don't think I should be here yet, because there's still some stuff I need to do in the academia. It's a cute little thing. Do, 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 do. Oh, only level six. Yeah, it should be a breeze. Should be a breeze. Tataru use scratch. What are these level one moves? Get them out of here, bro. Yo, that thing sounded sad when I took it out. Shit. That's an oof. Okay. Let's heal up the squad. Um, of course. Yes. Uh, gay weed dad. Um, how do you people get? Not really. Uh, or you saying you say don't get ripped off every potion. My heart hurt pan sounds and burning through them with this temtem hobby of mine. Lol. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some 30% discounts. You destroyed it. I oofed it. Um, hello. You forgot your sandwich, you're wondering whether you make you one or a glass of milk. Sorry, I thought it was a pub. Run along, you little bandit. <laughs> Man, the character interactions that you can do in this game are goofy as all hell. I like them though, I like them. So what's this place? The Academia. I'm gonna skip next class and hang out. SMH. Skipping class? What are you doing? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what these uh, missing children are. I genuinely do not know what to look. And it says that they have to be in Briggle, so we can't, like, leave this area and try to find a different area, you know? <sighs> Someday I'll find the missing kids for the side quest. Here, extra read it all. Claudia says that the Riveting Fellowship breaking all membership records. Yeah, for region papers. Interesting. I guess we're just gonna have to keep checking every house, huh? Trying to study, good luck. Dupe, nope, okay then. 
<laughs> yeah, this is the coast road to it. Yeah, I'm genuinely curious. Where the hell are these people? I'll leave you alone. Yeah, I don't know where Yusuf and Roger are. Maybe they're characters that pop up when you complete a certain quest or something? I don't know. Uh, pleasure. Come to Imagine Beach. Shipboy. I miss you, Treadwell. Temp Temp Trainer. Freshman of the Academia. Good place. Both my sisters went there. Not doing well. Hope to beat Sophia yourself. Good luck. Anyways, don't keep you. Enjoy your time in town. Are they here? Are you the new babysitter? No. Oh, I see. They're so very late. Like my old babysitter, she looked more fun than you. I seen. It's lovely. I love Picky Pick when they grow up. I want to be a tamer and many Picky Pick as I can. Right, Dad got it for me. Oh, cool. Uh, I would love to see a real Tippy Pack. Can you bring me one? Here's my Tippy Pack. So cute. Oink, oink, yay. Can I hold it? Sure. So fluffy. See the little thing? I wish it was here to see it. It likes you. It's amazing. Look what I have. Yay, friend. What's your name? Uh, a friend. Thank you very much. One day I'll my own. Really I'm sure you will. Biggest revive. I won it in a raffle, but that won't let me play Temtem until I'm more so you can have it. Nice. Finally, we got a free item from talking to these random characters. Let's go. Dude, the interactions are funny in a way. It definitely makes it unique compared to other uh, games out there. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to continue on with the main quest. I legit do not know where these two kids are for the missing kids thing. I would love to do it at... Um... Yeah, I would love to do it uh, right now, but not going to happen. Not going to happen. And then, so what? What do we have to do? So I guess we gotta wait. Further your training at Sophia's Dojo in Astralis. I think we do actually have to continue on. Yeah, I guess the only thing we can do is just continue on from here. Got another one of these Tataroos. I think I might run away from the Tataroo. Already beat up one of them, don't need to beat up two of them. There we go. If the game said you missed both encounters or you missed the opportunity to, I would have been like, nah, fam. You're gone. You're gone. Look at your face you see over there. Some of the best climbing in the region. You just need the right gear and skills. Up you go, feeding the rock head in the clouds. Good to know. I like this little bridge, it looks really cool. I like it a lot. Oh, snap, you're gonna really walk through the grass, bro? No way. Um, uh, Estrella. Long way to go, my friend. What about Friendly Tempted Battle Past the Time? So yeah, yeah, the only thing I think we can do is just continue on with our adventure, because I don't think we can do that side quest right now. At least that's my thought. Let's go attack you two times. Get out of here, big fish. I would assume our temp tips are faster, but I got the moves will go by priority. Not the speed of the Temtems. Oof! Oh, wait, we're battling two trainers? Where did the other girl come from? Yo, that thing looks cool. A Uranishi or something? That thing looks cool. What, if it's a water type, I would not mind getting it whatsoever. Um, actually, I might run in the grass a little bit and see if we can potentially find one of them. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I think it might be a water type. That'd be really cool if it is. Ooh, that's effective against us. That's not good. I right, take out, take care of these skull, and we're gonna eat that thin beat up for these grass blade right here. Nice. Yeah, that thing looks cool. I want one. Well, how many temp temps do you have? I was about to yell Pokemon, but I stopped myself, boys. I stopped myself. Come on, Glass Blade, finish it off. See, we're level 12. Let's go against these level 3s, and these level 3s still, like, beat the shit out of us. It's insane. Insane. Anyways, give me one of them that that guy had. I do not want to Paro. I already got one. So we're gonna dip. Peace out. Peace out. Looking pretty chill. Dude, I'm a little chilled out. Mostly because I'm tired. <laughs> That's why, like, I'm not really commentating, like, a bunch because I'm, I'm, I'm a little sleepy right now.
But yeah, no, things are ch pretty chill. The game's pretty chill, too. Yeah, I don't know. I want to encounter one of them little, like, fish-looking things that that guy had. I just don't know if we can get him to scratch. It looks like all we are getting is burrows. How many people do you even have on the stream? Only 24 people? That's okay. I was kind of expecting it to be the average of 24 anyways for a non-Yu-Gi-Oh stream. Well, let's keep exploring. Throw down? Oh, let's fight. Time to get ready to lose. Just showed up how it's going. Doing alright. How you doing flying high? Yeah, I believe you were one of the people that used to watch my good old Minecraft streams way back in the day. Yeah, I probably should have healed my team to be fair. Um, I guess we'll do it right now. Heal up Ruby. Probably should have attacked the octopus now thinking about it. Oof! Eating that up. Well, okay. So I'm gonna go heal my guy. You're gonna have to buy more of these bombs soon. Dude, I do need my sleep for it, but the thing is, I'm probably gonna go play on my Switch when I lay down for bed. <laughs> Wanting to get back into the Skya. It's been a while since I've been playing since I played the Skya. I might play that for like an hour and then go to sleep. Um, yeah, it's Crystal Dust and then Peck. I think Crystal Dust will do a good amount of damage. I wonder if our Ruby's getting exhausted, because I'm surprised that Peck didn't go first. Oh, I should have not used Peck. Water Blade, or oof. There we go. Yeah, I wonder why all of a sudden we're faster than Ruby. Today's not my brightest day. Oof. Unless I can in for a school project. That's sick. Sounds like a lot of fun. Another trainer. I was expecting that. Told you a hundred. Oh, yeah, her. Hi there. Who's her? Not too loud behind you. No, don't turn around. She's been going about Timology all day. I get it's fascinating to her, but all I want is a good fun battle. By the way, my name's Peru. I'm up for a battle. Cool, finally some fun. Keck. Yeah, still, I wanted that water type uh, Temtem from one of those other trainers that we fought earlier. It's really cool. Crystal Dusto. Window burst. Demolished. Demolished. We eating them hits, bro. We eating them hits. How many Temtem do you have, homie? It's like only three, okay. Nice. I mean, we are using our most powerful moves for each Pokemon, so... There you go, man. Dude, this guy is pretty fun. Yeah, because I played through the entirety of... Well, not the entirety of this guy at five, but I played through, like, the main story of this guy at five, and that was a ton of fun. Really enjoyed that game. I would have played more of the post game if I liked to, to grind in Pokemon, but yeah. I mean, if I like to grind in games, but I just don't like grinding in video games. It's like one of my least favorite things. I mean, I don't really know how to use my Temtems correctly because they're both over exhausted, but you know, appreciate the compliment. So that's what happens when you over exhaust them. So they will, so the game will still allow you to use your moves. But they'll damage themselves. Cause I was wondering like what would happen if you ran out of stamina and used a move. So that makes a lot of sense. We're gonna go back to the center though and heal. Cause our Temtems are weak. They got no stamina. There we go. Fully stamina up and ready to go. Yes, well, that's where you got the name. The if, if it you got a name, it's Sapphire. If it's blue, I uh, played. So the, my favorite Pokemon game of all time is Pokemon Ruby, just because I have the most nostalgia towards it. I think my first ever Pokemon game was probably Red or Blue, but like the game that I had the most memories with and the game that I just enjoyed the most was Pokemon Ruby. So I always say that Pokemon Ruby is like my favorite one of all time. 
Um, and then after that, yeah, uh, yeah, it's the only really answer I can say. I guess my second favorite would have to be Pokemon Soul Silver. Soul Silver is a phenomenal game. Two regions, Pokemon follow you. So many events. It's awesome. Actually, one thing, a video popped up in my YouTube recommended not too long ago that was super, super cool, where it showcased the, that you can actually do mystery gift events that are not attainable anymore for the DS Pokemon games. There was a, so when I watched the video, apparently somebody got all of the like data for all the mystery gift events and basically uploaded them into a certain server. And when you watch the video, you can basically learn how to set up your internet settings correctly to obtain these mystery gifts, which is something I might actually try. Cause yeah, Soul Silver has so many different mystery gift events, which are really cool. There's so many cool events that you can do in Soul Silver. That's awesome. And that's why like Soul Silver is a ton of fun, especially when I was a kid. Um, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum have some really cool ones. Like the Darkrai one's always really cool. And the Arceus one is cool. I don't think those were ever like officially like released though, but I've like seen gameplay on those events. So those ones are really cool. So yeah, Mystery Treadwell, that's right. Oh boy, you're going quick. I remember when you're a whiny toddler, always running after your piggy peck. I uh, recognize me, I'm Carmen. It does ring a bell. It was many years ago. You're this kid. I remember you playing ZR years ago before I left to train Astra. Send Kazu. I haven't seen Zara in there. How's she doing it? Uh, she's fine, thanks. Good to hear that. Been lonely, now you're fine, solo. Uh, what have you been up to? Spent some time in academia. Then I turned to the dojo to tech my, to, for my technique. Then into traveling and working here to earn some pants on. My time in the mystery of learning how to use my nature attempt more effectively. I was in a while. How I missed the mountains and the herbal tea. I was now I'm back in the nest. I should play the old town for a visit. I guess say hi to Ina for the old timer. Show me what you learned. Just pretend, pretend fight with stuff. Temtem when you're eight, remember? Now we're having a real battle. All time flies. Anyway, Temtem up as the kids say nowadays. Nah, you can't catch a Pikachu. One out of ten. One out of ten. But yeah, no, I'd say Pokemon Ruby's my favorite one out of them all, but Soul Silver is really good too. Uh. So I guess the, cause so you can't use mirror shell at the beginning of every battle, but it does have like a red and then like a little slash next to it. So that must be like how many turns you have to wait before you can access that move. So that's interesting. Anyway, let's use that. And then peck. <sighs> well, that would kill. Can you not toxic Ruby? Very rude. Very rude indeed. Okay. Window burst. I did some damage, nice. Nice. Yeah, I gotta watch more of my stamina now. I was kinda going gung-ho, but I realized that, yeah, stamina. If you use your stamina incorrectly, it can really hurt your mons. I did all right, Gus. Playing some Temtem, a game I've never played before because it came out recently. It's been pretty entertaining so far, though. Don't you shy shield. Grass little blade. Kaku is knocked out. And the poison is bothering us. Very pressed Misty, I bet she's proud of you. Appreciate it. Give us a cool Temtem. I mean, I guess it is kind of cool, but it's not something I'm interested in, so I'm going to peace out. At this rate, I'm going to solo the game with Emerald and Ruby. Has there been any other Temtems yet where I'm like, whoa. Whoa. Let's see. Let's see if there's any over here. Give me a cool Temtem. I need a third one on the squad. Nope. Copa did not affect me heavily, not at all. I'm too small of a content creator for them to worry about it anyways, so I'm just gonna keep labeling my content not for children. Nah, it's not a bootleg Pokemon. It's just a game, It's the game is just in the same genre as Pokemon, but I wouldn't say it's a bootleg, I'd say it's its own like original game. People just compare it to Pokemon because Pokemon is mostly a one of its kind. And this is just another one in the market that is a capture mon MMO type of thing or capture RPG type of thing. You could definitely tell it is very heavily inspired by Pokemon, but it's still its like own thing. Yeah.
Yeah, we're only getting some Katus, so I'm good. Because, yeah, it's still turn-based, of course, with monsters, but at the same time, there definitely is some originality to it. Like, it has a stamina bar, has a bunch of different statuses that you're not used to. There's a lot of interesting stuff so far. A friendly one. Oh dear, let's have a decent fight. It's showtime, peasant. What's also funny about this game is that the character interactions are actually pretty comical. They're a little more willing to be rude, you could say, compared to other games. So these guys have the starters, that's cool. Yeah, we'll go all out on the starters, especially for low health. Yo, my mom made some uh, tacos today, and man, they're really good. Don't kill Ruby, that's rude. That's rude. Then I'll just peck. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nice. We didn't need to heal just yet. I need to buy more potions. I forgot to buy some more. Did I miss a lot? Yeah, you did. We're probably going to be wrapping up the stream like very soon, so I'm sorry about it. But yeah, we've been streaming for about two hours, played through most of the beginning of the game. Right now, the character we're playing is Misty Treadwell. Good fight, sir. How dare you, you. It's only right. Good fight. Let's go, you. You doo-doo, bro. Actually, yeah, this looks like to be another trainer anyways, so... Oh, is this the place we have to go to anyways? Work in progress content? Okay. There's a lot of work in progress content with this game so far. It is in early access, I guess, so that would make sense, but... Yeah, I think we're gonna wrap up today's stream right here, now speaking about it, just because of the fact that... I reached the two-hour mark, and my boy, your boy Wattable 7 is getting a little, little sleepy. Which I'm genuinely surprised I'm feeling sleepy, for the fact that, um... Yeah, for the fact that I did sleep in today. I didn't get out of bed till like, 1.30. And I've only been up for like about 10 hours and I'm already getting sleepy, so. It is what it is right there, but it's probably a good thing because I got work at 6 a.m. anyways. So, there you go right there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's stream, everybody. I guess one thing I gotta check before I like wrap up, wrap up. Did Duel Links update their upcoming uh, notifications? Um, Let's see. Can you make more than one character? I'm not sure yet. I, from what I could tell, no. But I want. I, I really hope that, that you can make more than one character. Cause yeah, like I said, I wouldn't mind Nuzlocking it. Just for some original content. I'll probably lose the Nuzlocke quickly though, cause I'm not good at turn-based games. But oh well. Oh, card trader inventory updated. Oh shit. Konami added Kite Roid. Konami added Kite Roid to the card trader. You know, there's been a huge drought for Yu-Gi-Oh! content recently that I might dead ass make a video on Kite Roid coming to the card trader. Dead ass, bro. And also now I can get access to Prismatic Kite Roids. Yeah, fuck it. You know what, boys and girls? I'm gonna make- Yo, who's ready for some half-ass Yu-Gi-Oh! content? I think Kite Roid coming to the card trader is worth it for Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I'd say so. But, uh, so you know what, boys and girls, I think I might upload some half-assed Yu-Gi-Oh content. What a pog. What a pog. Top-tier content for Wattable 7. I haven't uploaded a Yu-Gi-Oh video in a couple days anyway, so... Fuck it, I might as well. But that's actually really interesting that they finally added... Kiteroid into the, uh, card trader. That's actually really cool for free-to-play That's actually a really good thing for free-to-play players, if you think about it. So yeah, I might, I might make a video talking all about that. All about that. But no, for everybody that came into today's stream, I really do appreciate it. It was fun playing Temtem. I could see myself playing some more Temtem on stream. I really could. We'll definitely see, though. Hey, any content's good. Yes, what? But yeah, no, there will be some half-assed Yu-Gi-Oh content in like an hour. Um, but yeah, no, Temtem was fun. Definitely super similar to Pokemon, which is pretty obvious from what you can see from gameplay. At the same time, though, it is... There is enough for Temtem to still make it its own original like game, you know what I'm saying? Not any of the Arrow Mage traps. I feel like we would have known, though, that we would have got some more, like, Arrow Mage cards if they got announced. Because all the card trader cards that just got updated were all cards in Duel Links anyways. So. Yeah. I think we would have known in the leaks if there was going to be an Arrow Mage trap. But yeah, no, I'm going to be peacing out, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching today's uh, Temtem livestream. Like I said, I could see myself doing more. 
uh we'll definitely see it later on out let me go play you guys a short song though and we'll be on our way for today's live stream let me go find a short one um uh, i guess i could do this one i want to play some black clover music but that'd be a bad idea bad idea but yeah no good night everybody i'll be uploading a dueling's video in probably like an hour just a quick quick resident sleeper discussion video if you will watch it if you watch it i appreciate it but don't stress yourself too much about it thank you guys so much for watching today's stream though and let me go let you guys listen to some music uh